Prometheus Black. Oh, this must be some kind of earth transport. Hmm, it's a bit, uh, lumbering, I would say. And slowing down all the traffic behind it's a little more than a crawl. I hate to crawl, and that smell, oh, my lord, is putrid. A weighted burden on the old factory manifolds, sir. Uh, sir, I say, sir. Oh, Adam? Uh, well, not to push my judgment on you, would you mind speeding your locomotion just a tad, pick up the pace, move it along, or possibly, I don't know, pulling to the side to let other motorists pass? Trucks always back and forth behind the truck, trying to get the driver's attention. Pardon me, there are some of us trying to get around you. Yes, excuse me, you could at least go the speed limit. You were ruling what little enjoyment I was finding on this winding motorway. I, oh, I said, you are becoming an annoyance and pressing my patience to the limit. You blocked the road long enough. Now, if you would please. MOVE! <laughs> the driver glances into their side mirror and rolls their eyes. As they shift their eyes back to the road, something catches their attention. One of those seagulls. Once soaring majestically, veers from its course and cuts directly across the view from the windshield. Thoughtlessly, the driver stamps their foot into the brake pedal and veers the wheel into the left. Flight fighting the sudden turn, the semi truck skids and bucks. Tires lock and burn. Smoke blossoms and a metal grinds, bends, and tears. Orange, vicious fluid belches from the split seeds and torn frame of the trailer. Trax tries to avoid the pooling hoop. Oh. <laughs> I almost said really, never mind. <laughs> but evasion is impossible. Oh no! Its tires spin without traction as the thick liquid sprays in the air. <laughs> Even as the hot rod exchanges from the back, its tires, every maneuver to try, it tries, every maneuver to read, it tries every maneuver to try to control its pyramidite. <laughs> In the end, though, nothing works. The hot one slams into the unforgiving mangled skeleton of what had been the semi-truck. <laughs> the world begins to fade to black for tracks. Oh, you're uh, coming around. Hello, uh, Trax, is it? Uh, Metalhawk here, but uh, oh yeah, he's Trax, all right. One of Drift's friends, if I remember correctly. You're Optimus Prime. Oh, you look much taller on the victory day floor, I must say. Uh, what I mean is, oh, it's an honor. I suppose I get the opportunity to mingle over the celebrity after all. <laughs> I don't know if I consider myself a celebrity. Uh, well, I, I, I guess I did, but I uh, wouldn't say that I'm, uh, I'm famed. But, <clears throat> you know what, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you two. I don't know who he is, though. Is he one of the, uh, what did you call them? Human? Oh, he's uh, met uh, Mr. Park. He works for a branch of one of Earth's governments, selling and cope with, well, you know, us. More specifically, our technology and how it affects this planet. He's the one that ever took you back from the scene of your accident. Traveling both ways, back up for miles. Ah, well, cheers then, Mr. Hawk. I owe you a significant amount of gratitude. Ah, think nothing of it, sports car. Just count your lucky stars that I was trailing that cargo truck myself. Tracks, Ratch is giving you a full screen. He mended a few bent bumpers and strained struts and says that you're all set to go whenever you feel up to it. Brilliant. But he did say that I should warn you about something. That compound from the truck, the orange ooze. Mr. Hawk said he tracked that down as part of Mr. Black's experiments with uh, human transformers. You don't know what those are. Well, it's, it's Earth stuff. But Ratchet wants you to report back in if you feel any lingering side effects. You flinch from your system, but you never know with an unknown. Well, I do feel a little fuzzy headed. Uh, Oh, but I'm sure that's nothing a lovely brisk drive won't clear out. 
Okay, well, just promise me to keep it to the speed limit, all right? I uh, thank you, Optimus, Mr. Hawk, and give Ratchet my thanks as well. That wasn't a promise. I'm sorry to the Autobots mobile base. There's Optimus Prime and Hawk halfway across the country. Trax raises a single circle to shield his eyes from the sun. He then adjusts his spectacles and shifts his body panels in one synonymous motion until the glistening blue hot rod had returned and now sat where the robot had once stood. Mm. Right up to that. Nearly enough to give a lot of headache. Oh, my frontal lobes. Well, let's see what else this planet has to offer. I don't have much of the way of my hopes. Oh, there's more traffic here in the city than along the shore. Start and stop. Start and stop. And hey! Oh, 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 don't you blow your horn at me! It was an honest mistake! And don't use that gesture, I'm sure it means something not very nice at all. <laughs> Serious! Why is everyone on this ramp stop? No! Seriously! I can't even see the end of this line of traffic. It's not moving a car length, and why are you still hunting? The cool blue pink jaw of the hot rod cracks violently. Flaming red and yellow burns through from underneath. I can't move! They can't move! Lay off the horn, you! Shut up! I can't just. I can't get out of here! Get out of my way! I'll push you out of my way if I have to. Sparks fly as full out road rage is unleashed. A hot headed hot rod smashes into the cars, in front and behind. It into the frustration builds to a boiling point, and it lets out a furious chum roar as it jerks itself upright into a humanoid robot, hunched over its seething. Its gaze bores its way into the ocean of unmoving vehicles on the highway. Do you have time to just sit there? Now I go on to have places to be! The Charisse flat robot stumbles, taking clumsy steps off the road, off the on-ramp and the freeway, holding her head as she combats the intense throbbing inside her temple. Her vision doubles and swirls until she collapses against a sturdy lamppost meant to light the way of the highway after dark. Her rampant breaths slow, throbbing, lessened. And light frost on the window pane, blue paint stretches out over the red, the small cobalt covered. Branches spread and grab onto one another. Foliage has faded away and tracks has returned <laughs> and then falls unconscious, unconscious at the roadside. Oh, dear. Ah, sweet metal dog again. There's that sleepy bot. You know what? That's twice now in as many days that I've had to rescue you. Oh. What happened? Oh, I don't know. Supposedly you went super scion and trashed half a dozen cars. I've never met anyone as impatient as that. Pardon me? Super what? You know, super scion something or other. I'm not exactly sure. Just some lingo I picked up during my travels. Optimus and Ratchet are conferring with Perceptor and Wheeljack on Cybertron about your condition. Hmm? But I was going to guess, based on what I've learned from my investigations, I'm going to say that whatever juice that Prometheus guy had been putting into his experiments to try to make them split between two forms, you know, it has you splitting your anger off into a completely, entirely new personality. <laughs> wow! She is a wrecker with a capital W. <laughs> I don't think I understand. Uh, he's right. There are more scientific and psychological parts to it than I'm not qualified to try to explain. But you are transforming into another individual when your mood changes. So right now, our advice to you is just, you know, stay calm. Take some breaths and try to, as Bumblebee would put it, be cool. Yeah, that's right. Be cool. Or 
You could opt for some nice comfy stasis shackles till they sort this all out. Mr. Hawk. Yeah. Yes, um, I'll go with the anger management behind door one rather than your questionable fashion accessories, if you don't mind. I, I, I don't know, I was just saying, I, I, it's always an option. Oh! What was that? Was that, was, was that a needle? That's the Sundak Simulated Nursing Organizational Robotic Equipment. It'll be taking samples of your mechanical fluid at regular intervals and monitoring your vitals. More science stuff that I, I couldn't possibly fully explain. So it just has a mind of its own? Ow! Hey, that stinks! It's completely automated. Yes. Ratchet was hesitant to use it at first, but now I always hear him saying how much he likes to S-O, or rather S-N-O-R-D. Does that stand for the Simulated Nursing Organizational Robotic Equipment you mentioned earlier? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's going to, uh, and it's going to... Oh! Are you doing this regularly? Uh, to get a baseline, I'm sure. Anyway, to make it a little out, less invasive, and frequent! And frequent! What? <laughs> you might want to get these two to calm down. I, I, I think one of them's starting to transform again. I think I'll see what Ratchet can do to reset how often it, uh, you know, pokes you with that needle. Please do. It is becoming annoying! Ratchet, I think you might want to... As Optimus Prime tries to get the Max's attention, it is soon obvious that he is too late. Once again, the blue paint flakes and splinters getting away to the shiny red finish beneath. Uh, ow! That's it! Come here, you nosy eagle! If you want to be a prick, I'd be happy if you want in return. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll just be a little bitch. <laughs> the Red Red Chamber Pot grapples with the S N O R E, ganging until she tears it loose from its warren on the ceiling. The violent bending unseats trestles and girdles and cascading chaos. One hefty beam collides with Ratchet's helmet, knocking. The aging doctor, unconscious. And you? You think you can keep me here? Study me? Understand me? You're wrong! I'm not your prisoner and I am not your experiment! I'm getting the heck out of here! I know how this movie ends. Hey, uh, Ratchet, he's offline but still functioning. I'll, uh, I'll get Minerva to stop being the treatment and then, then I... I do know someone even more familiar with Prometheus, Prometheus Black's chemicals than Ratchet was. I never thought I'd have to go looking for her help again. Good plan. Hey, in the meantime, I will trail our walking road rage to make sure she doesn't cause too much mayhem. I'm used to tracking the unusual, and she doesn't seem the type to make tracking too hard. A lot of evidence left by this one. Well, best of luck. I'm gonna call in someone else then to give me some tracking tips. Let's see if I remember his number. Uh, let's see. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, uh, good day. How you going, Optimus? I'm just here messing with some blokes you might remember. Seems the Dinobots felt it was their due to get rowdy and rambunctious on holiday off of their Dinobot Island. Well, me and Grimlock wanted summer vacation. <laughs> Why we can't hang an Airbnb with pool and air conditioning? Because she didn't rent it, you bozo! Me, Grimlock, and Daddy are have only one line in this script, so we can milk it! Me, me Grimlock, no bozo, me Story. Oops, uh, sorry, ego. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm really sorry about that. Back to our story, <laughs> after this crime continues his search. Alright, I'm just about wrapped up though. Uh, what's up, mate? We're, we're 
you giving me the holler. Oh, I don't know. I was talking about the sure. uh, like, one that's a true line where you take it again. Yeah, yeah. 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 I haven't just from up raising up though. Hey, what's up, mate? Why are you giving me the holler? And I'm going to pay you a fool. I need someone who's good at the jungle. Well, that's me then, eh? Hey? What's you up for? Adventure, a walkabout, or a bit of questing? I'm looking for a uh, black arachnia. Uh oh. That's a rough one for you, though, isn't it? Hmm, Spider Lady? Uh uh, no, no. Take the criminal back to China by the island. We don't want to deal with angry ex girlfriend. <laughs> A rough one for the lot of you, I reckon. <laughs> Wasting your time, Optimus, buying an outback. Board a cargo ship on loan to the Autobots from the new Sundak Industries. As an ocean ferry vessel departs the docks, it slips into an 80s adventure movie montage. Optimus Prime and Outback peer over the ground as they fade out and a global map fades in. A red arrow marking their progress towards the coast of Africa. Once landed, the two robots disembark the ship and transform into their truck forms. The red arrow picks up where it left off and points deep into the jungles in the heart of the continent. When the montage ends and the map disappears from view, it has been the span of three days. Also about team leader, his guide Bobo on their Follow on their suspension as they drive through the muddy ruts and dirt roads. Oh, the muddy ruts and dirt roads! Yeah! This mud is just like, not like anything alongside the trunk. It squishes through your trees with a sort of strange sense of satisfaction. It makes my strut shiver every time my tire will do a full turn. Seven hours of squishing is enough for me for a lifetime. Ah, then we are very different mechs, aren't we? Oh, I could slop around in this stuff for a... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't... Hold on, we're not allowed anymore. <clears throat> Keen senses on this one, Optimus. Is that why you brought him to me? With unnerving fluidity and creates a mass black and purple spider burst from the jungle canopy to land on top of Outback's truck mood. <laughs> Is he a plaything or a snake? Oh, you can take it to the queue that I'm feisty enough to be no one's treat, Sheila. <laughs> In fact, you can guarantee it'll just be a few rounds before you tap out. If you're looking for a go. Whatever, you boy. Absolute <laughs> optimist. I want you to be happy that I found peace in my solitude. Why are you looking for me? Why, correct me. I, uh, <clears throat> we, we, we need a favor. I, you sound different. Well, I've been trapped. In the humidity of this jungle for nearly 15 years, it has a wear on the girl's voice box. What kind of favor? Uh, you remember Prometheus Black? Or, I mean, Meltdown. Vividly, let me guess. You tried cleaning up his mess and made a bigger mess. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Only it's a little more complicated. There's this Autobot that turns into this rage monster and it's destroyed parts of the city. My mobile HQ. And now it's back on the loose, and, uh... Stop! Uh, only you, Optimus, could have such creative problems. For all time's sake, and for the sake of scientific curiosity, I will go with you and fix your disaster. Just let me go and say goodbye to my friends first. Oh, my friends? She's hugging a rat and a cheetah! And a rhino! <laughs> Meanwhile? Yeah, yes, wait, wait, there's more. <laughs> yes, and a uh, monkey! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in California. <sighs> <sighs> Little human, get out of my way! Shoo! You better be careful because I will fight! 
You better be careful because Metalhawk is uh, uh, terrified. Actually, I think this has gone on long enough. Oh, do you? Is that what you think? Stupid little man. Get lost. Good. With the back of her hand, she brushes Mr. Hawk aside. The force of the impact knocks him into the nearest building. Ouch. His body absorbs the blow and he lands on his feet. Oh, my feet. Wow. <laughs> Resilient. Yeah, I'd be crawl that. <clears throat> Hold on, let me rub my feet. Now I'll show, show you why. why. It's time to reveal my other side. I pretender. Who were you calling a pretender? Ow! A glowing light surrounds Mr. Hall, and his skin takes on a metallic hue. More light spills out of his body as his body opens at its sides, and this light expands as it emerges. Soon the orb of light is nearly 20 feet tall and growing appendages reaching toward the ground. The light then dims, and a gold and blue robot stands facing the crimson calamity causer. Beyond the robot, Mr. Hawk returns to his human form. Although the head drops as though he is sleeping. I was calling myself one. <sighs> Although you can call me Metal Hawk. I mean, I'm gonna call you a smoking wreck. <laughs> Only if you're faster than that. And you're telegraphing your dungeons. <laughs> it's not just about straight as Tiger, but no, you know. Ah, uh, there's a tactic to hand to hand combat. Yeah, observation. Yeah, reaction. Yeah, breath control. Yeah, all oh, the things I can teach you. You can teach me to say yeah, I suppose. Yes, breath control. You're just trying to make me change back again. Well, I don't want to go back. I want to stay me. Yeah, but you're trapped. Oh, 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 oh. Fighting words. I am not Trex, and you called me Rogue Rage, so you know who I am and who I am not. So, your name was Rogue Rage before that? How did you hear that? No, but, uh, uh, but, yes, uh, well, I have good audio receptors, and it's as good a name as any. I, 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 I assume it is. I mean, I, I mean, Glancing down, Rogage sees Mr. Hawk at her ankles. He's now fully animated, and he has just placed the stasis snap of shackles around her legs. The shackles grow blue. They've activated, and she suddenly finds herself immobile and unable to be as angry. What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> You see, I can split my spark between my real form and my pretender suit. It comes in handy sometimes. Now let's get you back to Optimus. Back at the Autobot Mo Mobile HQ, which has had some repairs done to shore up the roof. She is the monster that gave you all your trouble and sent you into the depths of the jungle to find me. <laughs> I was expecting something uh, taller. Hey. <laughs> a lot taller. <laughs> With some fangs, maybe. <laughs> something like real heat. Not <laughs> just a hot rod. <laughs> Watch your language. If you promise to be nice, I can take off the stasis cuffs and let you fight her for yourself. But if you want to give me a sparring partner, it will have to be some other time. Because right now, I have a cure to make. Busy, busy, off you go. Uh, uh, wait, Optimus, what happens to Road Rage when we cure tracks? Road Rage, the other personality, it'd be uh, reabsorbed into tracks, I guess. Why? Well, we can't do that. Oh, great, the ethics police. Do you want me to be a bad scientist or not? Because if you do, we can't have any of that type here. Watch it. Are you saying that this other personality is a different person? An individual? I talked to her and she wasn't trapped and didn't want to be either. She, she was her own Mac. 
Oh, scrap. You're going to make this into some challenging moral decision, aren't you? <laughs> Freedom is the right of all sentient beings, my correct, yeah. We'll still extract Mr. Black's chemicals, but we'll, we will make road rage whole as well. How are you going to manage that? There's only one spark between the two of them. Genius. <laughs> Mr. Hawk, when I'm using him, I share my spark energies between two bodies. When he gets hurt, I feel his pain. When I'm happy, so is he. I give him life. If you could siphon that energy while I'm doing that, could you activate a second bot? No, that's talking magic. It's true, it was a mix of the all spark. And sorry. And wouldn't you only have half a spark that metal hot? Half a spark at the most. Who knows if we could stop the siphon from pulling out more than that. Or the whole thing. And I'm still not even sure how this is possible. Well, here's the funny part. I can stop the split if I feel it's going too far. It's, it might sound odd, but I just visualize an on-off switch in my head, and it works the same. <laughs> He's in agreement. He's in agreement. And there... <laughs> I'll take that as an agreement. I'm always happy to try some fringe science, so strap in, everyone that's strapping in. Things are about to get weird. <laughs> Where we are. Uh, as Mr. Hawk and the Pretender Shell, Mr. Hawk, are involved in tonight's sport equipment that has been altered to their new purpose. Black Rapia types at a keyboard. The screen displays countless chemical equations that she rejects. I don't know how long that process will take, but I'm sure I'll have a solution for tracks before it's complete. There's only so many combinations that this could be needed. Metal Hawk? Uh, 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 this feels, uh, uh, there's no need to sugarcoat it. I mean, <laughs> It, it's literally like something is uh, draining the life out of me. It's the strangest feeling, man. It's almost like uh, euphoric. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, hang in there, my lock. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, 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 I think I hear, like, singing. The music of every molecule, every uh, atom in the universe, I can feel the power, the void, and the flow in between, man. I can feel happiness, I can feel that I'm dying. Wait, what? But Black Arachnia, shut it down. Huh? What? You have to shut it down, now. It's too late, everything is fading to die. Metal Hawk! Metal Hawk! Come back! Where am I going? Heaven? Meanwhile, back to the lab. Huh. Something, somehow, that worked. It did? What? Wow. <laughs> you traded his. So it did! He traded his spark for yours. He's gone. Well, that's... I, 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 I don't know what to say. What a, no, what a noble sacrifice. He did that for me. Indeed. Let's hope wherever he is, let's all hope he's peaceful. Peaceful. Well, man, this is trippy. Where am I? What is this place? This place. This is a resting place for travelers from all across the multiverse. Heroic Autobots, evil Decepticons, and even a heroic Decepticon leader that mirrors the Decepticon leader from your universe. Wow. 
Ooh. Hello there. My name is Megatron. Cool. Cool. 